here with Xavier Johnson at Basketball Media Day. Xavier, how was uh, the preseason coming along for you guys? It was going good, you know. I mean, we're working hard every day, just trying to get better. And that's like, that's all we can hope for, you know what I'm saying? Just coming out here and just doing what we do best, just trying to win every day in every competition. So, I mean, that's when we get better and become the greatest team. You're out uh, here leading sprints and, and pretty vocal. Do you have a, a different mindset at all going into the season as compared to the last two years? Yeah, I think so. You know, I feel like I have to be more of a leader, you know. I mean, I'm upperclassman now. I'm a junior. So I have to come out here and try to help the, the sophomore and the freshman just learn like I have to learn. So it's really good. The last couple of years when you scored 15 or more points, the team's won 83 percent of the time. You, so you've been kind of that X-Factor guy. Do you want to continue to be an X-Factor guy or do you want to be a guy that's kind of dependent on, you know, night in, night out? Night in, night out, you know. For, for me to get to the next level and to play at that level, it's all about consistency, you know. Um, so for me to just score 15 points here and there isn't going to cut it anymore, you know. I have to be able to do that every game, come out here and, and you to get a double double every game in order to win. And I hope my teammates, Josh Scott, Mesquia, and everybody just comes to play their hardest. You know, I'm out there playing my hardest. So I hope for my teammates to do the same and just, you know, and we do what we do best. What would you maybe attribute some of that past inconsistency to? And, and how have you gone about trying to uh, correct that in terms of being a consistent guy? Um, you know, just, just work on the things that. I didn't do so well last year. Um, kind of like um, ball handling was a little off a little bit last year, but you know I'm here to just I'm here to win. You know what I'm saying I'm here to play my hardest. I'm here to to do it all. You know what I'm saying so that's all that's all I can hope for. You have a versatile game. To, obviously that fits this new offense pretty well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know I mean I'm a I'm a big wing you could say. So I'm able to rebound the ball a lot, post up, and I can shoot threes. So. Got a little triple threat, so we good, yeah. A lot of guys on this basketball team that can make athletic plays, make big plays, but it seems like when you, you know, throw down a big dunk, it gets the crowd hyped more than anybody <laughs> else. Is that, what, what do you attribute that to? Um, to my teammates. I mean, send me the good screen so I can't throw down that dunk and get the crowd into it. Because when the crowd's into it, I mean, we get into it even more. I mean, people say crowd shouldn't affect you, but I mean, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So we're just here to just play hard and just come out here and just win. It's all about winning. You anxious to match up against your former modern day teammate, uh, <laughs> Stanley Johnson uh, for, for Arizona? Boy, yeah, man, yeah. I love, man, I love Stanley, man. That's my boy. I grew up with him, so it's going to be fun to play against him. I mean, I was up playing against Arizona no matter what, so I mean, I'm just ready. Obviously, it's pretty clear for this program to take the next step. It's winning games uh, in the tournament as opposed to just getting in. But how do you kind of avoid putting the cart in front of the horse in that sense and not looking ahead to, to the postseason? Um, winning all the games before that, you know, winning as many games as possible so that we're not stuck in the tough predicament in the, in the um, tournament. So if we win early, then we'll have a better seating so then we're not one and done so that we can relax and play and win. Thanks, Xavier. Appreciate no it.